this sum is partial fraction integration by partial fraction the first thing that we have to do is break this down into partial fraction we can write fx as this thing is fx so 2x minus 3 x plus 2 is equals to the rule for breaking something in partial fraction is you write upstairs some alphabets a and downstairs you write the factor so here the factor is 2x minus 3 then you write plus another number and the other one is x plus 2 so that's it that's partial fraction now you take LCM LCM is going to be the same as this so just copy it here 2x minus 3 and x plus 2 so this and this matches so it would be a into x plus 2 plus then this and this matches it will be into 2x minus 3 so the downstairs and the downstairs the match so the upstairs 5x plus 3 should also be equals to a of x plus 2 and plus b of 2x minus 3 what we do now is take the factors and find the values so for this factor the value of x if we put 2x minus 3 equal to 0 it would be 3 by 2 so we put the value in both sides for x equals to 3 by 2 on the left hand side it would be 5 3 by 2 plus 3 on the right hand side this would be 3 by 2 my, uh, plus 2 plus now since this 2x minus 3 I consider this to be 0 if you put 3 by 2 it would be 3 minus 3 0 so this is 0 now we can find the value of a so 5 3 is a 15 15 by 2 plus 3 15 by 3 15 by 2 plus 3 would be 21 by 2 so this is 21 by 2 equals to now 3 by 2 plus 2 is going to be 4 4 plus 7 4 plus 3 is 7 7 by 2 a that means therefore a equals to 3 this 2 and 2 cancels and 21 divided by 7 is 3 next we have to find the value of b so here we'll take this thing as 0 so for x equals to minus 2 if you put this in the left hand side 5 into minus 2 plus 3 equals 2 now this minus 2 plus 2 would be 0 so this is 0 plus b so if you put minus 2 here 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 minus 3 that means minus 10 plus 3 is minus 7 and this is minus 7 b therefore b equals to 1 so we can say that if we consider this to be fx fx is equals to a by which means 3 by 2x minus 3 plus b by x plus 2 question number b would be doing the same sum using the partial fraction and using the fundamental rule of calculus so integration from 2 to 6 of this thing meaning the one that we just broke down so let me write down the new version 2x plus 3 2x minus 3 plus 1 by x plus 2 dx the fundamental by the fundamental rule of calculus integration of any linear it has to be linear expression is logarithm ln x plus b and divided by the chain rule d by dx of ax plus b so that's the uh, reciprocal of a linear expression by the fundamental rule of calculus for this particular sum so what we need here the 3 would be here constant so 1 by 2x minus 3 is ln of 2x minus 3 divided by the chain rule the derivative of 2x minus 3 is 2 plus ln of x plus 2 the derivative of x plus 2 is 1 and the limit is 2 to 6 so that's how we do it now so 3 by 2 if we take it as the power by the basic rule of C2 remember when you have this ln or log a we can write 
log b to the power a this is a basic rule for c2 simplify and another rule that we have is when you have log a plus log b we can just write log a into b so that's what we are trying to do here so by 3 by 2 we can bring it to the power and we can write ln 2x plus 3 to the power 3 by 2 plus ln x plus 2 I think this is 2x minus 3 so 2 to, s 2 to 6 so now we can write ln if I put 6 here 2 6 is 12 12 minus 3 is 9 so 9 to the power 3 by 2 uh, it's the best idea is to simplify first so we can write ln 2x minus 3 to the power 3 by 2 into x plus 2 now we can put the limit after we have simplified so by putting the limit 6 here we can write ln 2 into 6 is 12 12 minus 3 is 9 9 to the power 3 by 2 and x plus 2 is 6 plus 2 which is 8 minus now we can put 2 ln 27 into 8 minus means division 4 so 4 to the 8 so ln 54